Hey guys, and welcome to another great episode of How to Build. <laughs> I just thought I'd be a little dramatic today. Um, today I wanted to uh, to build something that was really, really cool. It's a little more advanced, and I bet you're wondering why I'm holding a, um, a, a gold nugget in, in my hand. Anyway, so I'm going to show you guys... Go, go to that perspective. Thank you. I'm going to show you guys that's still broken and I haven't fixed it yet. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm what I'm building today. Uh, today is build is actually going to be building two items today. One of them is going to be uh, a sorter, an automatic sorter, building it right over here, and it looks really complicated from here. But it's uh, I'm going to show you guys how to build it, and it's actually really really simple. Um, it's just a matter of getting st the materials together. Uh, we're going to do a, a, a sorter first of all. This, that's the stand item over here. Then I'm going to show you that over there, and that is a, a vending machine. I'm going to show you guys how to build a vending machine. So kind of a, a two-in-one here. I'm going to kind of combine them together and show you what I did. So first off, we're going to go ahead and build the auto sorter. So usually when you take items, you throw them in a chest, and then you end up with a chest full of just random stuff. Well, I like to, like, organize my stuff, and I get a little, a, little, uh, a bit on the uh, OCD side about it. But this system here, you could set it up, and it could be 50 items long, or 100 items long, or 200 items long, however you want it to be, and you can make it into a, a cool-shaped, massive room. I'm actually going to start building one of these things in my uh, Let's Play world. So the items you need to build just for one item, so you can sort one particular item in there, and it'll sort it out into a box. And what it does here, I'll, kind of, I'll show you what it... What it does, what, what, let me see what I set this one up for, actually. Um, I don't know if I set it up for anything in particular. No, I haven't set this one up for anything in particular. So this one kind of just dumps anything into anything. So we can set this one up for, say, uh, well, whatever. How about some some polished uh, andesite? Okay, so you need 23, 20, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 pieces. So we need 22 pieces, and I'll show you why exactly and and why this number is uh i'm not positive but I, i'm sure one of you guys can kind of um let me know exactly why why this is what it is so so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put 22 pieces in here and it needs to be sorry it needs to be a stack of 18 so 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 and then a stack of one of each in the other one so i'm gonna put that there and then I'm gonna put one, two, three, and four. So it needs to have a total of 22 pieces there. Once the 23rd piece is in there, that's when it starts doing its separation. So if I grab a stack of, say, polished anisite, and I grab some non-polished anisite, so I grab a stack of each, so when I put them in this chest here, it's going to separate them for me. It should automatically start, so you, so you can see it counting down up there. It should automatically start funneling through and the stuff that belongs in here is going to be the polished andesite, and that's what's coming into this into this chest. So the non-polished andesite is going to get dumped into this overflow chest over here once it starts to to process that portion of it. So right now it's still processing the polished andesite, but you'll see by the time we get done with this, you'll see the the non-polished is going to end up in this overflow. And if I grab a bunch of other stuff like one of these, 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 and one of these, and I throw them all into this chest, you'll see only the polished andesite will make its way to that bottom chest and everything else will end up in in this one here so i'm going to show you how to build this really quick and it's actually really simple and these are the items you need to build it you technically need five blocks of whatever it is your choice and you know i like to build on quartz so you guys can see the redstone trail i guess i could use uh, stone too but i'm using quartz nonetheless so you need uh three chests you need three hoppers you need one redstone torch you need uh, a one comparator one repeater and two two yeah two pieces of redstone dust and this is per item so if you're gonna build you know i have six seven items over here you're gonna need this times seven or ten or thirty or how many ever you guys want to use so i'm gonna show you guys how to build this i'm gonna build it right next to uh this guy over here so i'm gonna put one stone there and i'm gonna put one stone there and I'll put one there, and then we're gonna do one, uh, two, just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our comparator, and it's gonna be running in this direction. The comparator is gonna be right there, and we're gonna put one redstone there and one redstone there. And it's okay if they cross over. The The comparator is only set up to power two blocks. So it's gonna go one, two automatically straight down, and it will not power this side around, and so it won't really matter. And then you're gonna to need to do your 
uh, one repeater and the repeater is going to go in this direction so you're going to point it towards the the chests where they're going to go and you're going to need your redstone torch it's going to go on this side over here so this is kind of the setup you're going to have this is going to go bye bye all that material is see how it's already filled up in there anyway i'll go ahead and dump it back in there in a second uh nonetheless it's going to end up being just fine so i'm going to build a little tower of uh of blocks over here just so i could stack something on it in a minute but i need to i'm going to stand over here and i'm going to put a chest down i'm sorry i'm going to put a chest right here and we're going to take a a hopper and we're going to point it towards that chest and it's going to be running into the chest from the from this block over here towards the chest then we're going to do the same thing on this side and we're going to take we're going to be still crouching and you're going to take the hopper and you're going to point it towards the comparator and it's going to oh shoot put it on top of it uh, it's it's going to be right in front of it right there and it'll put it right in front just like that and then we're going to put another chest we're moving our chest over a bit just so it's um, for the two items it's going to be to the far edge of whatever amount of of items you're going to be running so we're doing the two items here so it's gonna be the far to the the two so this uh hopper is going to be pointed towards this hopper and this hopper is going to be pointed towards this chest again while crouching so i'm gonna to have to break this one because it wasn't pointed towards anything really and now it's gonna be pointed at so that that's gonna funnel in from there to there to there and then whatever passes through this particular comparator okay so this is technically the entire build so that's all there is to it uh, i can leave this i'm gonna remove this block it's just ugly it, sitting there by all by itself okay so basically so what, what you're going to need to do now i need to grab another uh 20 uh 22 blocks so i'm gonna grab let's see here we're gonna make it uh we'll, we'll make it these uh, uh these quartz blocks uh, i think that makes more sense than anything since we already have it in our uh our inventory so i'm gonna put this down here I'm gonna, actually i'm gonna pick it up and go one two three four we have 18 there so we're gonna take the 18 and we're going to put it there and it's not going to go through because the comparator is on right now and when the comparator is on it's going to require the uh this hopper to have 23 items in order for it to filter through so that that 22 is a magic number for this particular setup so this chest here is going to funnel into both setups right now so i'm going to take this right here and i'm going to dump all these items into this chest all of these except for the, the gold nuggets because i'm going to use those in a minute so i'm going to dump all these items into there and the only thing that it's going to filter into this chest here and this chest here is going to be the polished andesite here and it's going to be the the quartz blocks here so in here there they go there, there they start going in there and then this one's already full uh and everything else is in here so andesite is in there uh the andesite is right there uh, but then the polished stuff went through and everything else dumped into this particular chest so there you go so that's how you build an organization system and like i said you can make it as big as you want and run as many items as you want together now you're going to notice that the chests here did not link up uh the reason being is i believe is this a trap chest no that's a regular chest when you set up the system like this and you have a hopper hooked up to it uh, it won't uh, join the chests together for whatever reason so there you go that's a basic build on how to do uh the the, the item separator and like i said i have the the seven items here and then it goes and it goes ahead and, and it separates and when i dump items into there and it goes into those chests there so what we have here now is i'm joining this system with this system and this system here is a vending machine built this awesome vending machine i love this thing i think it'd be awesome for for a uh, uh, worlds where you're setting up maps where people can purchase things and what you do is you kind of set this to the item you want to buy so say i want to buy uh the the sea lantern right over here um i have my mon my monetary items i have set up is a um, gold nugget you can set it up to whatever you like mine is a gold nugget and the only items it'll accept so if i throw here let me show you something if i throw a, a whole gold nugget a whole gold ingot in there uh it will not give me anything and the item itself will generate up here so nothing is in my dropper uh, it's not nothing's going to come through i just lost the gold ingot 
but you're not going to get anything for it. So I need to throw a gold coin or gold uh, nugget in there. And in a couple seconds, there it is. There is my sea lantern. So now I got this awesome sea lantern that I bought for one gold nugget. Now, because I set up the system, I'm going to show you guys how to build this in just a second. Because I set up the system with that system there joining with this system, if I'm done with this item and I want to put it away, I can just dump it back in this chest and it sucks it up and puts it back in its appropriate dropper. So that's how that's how my, my vending machine works and I can show you guys how to join them up at a later date. But for now, I have the item set up over here where we have the items for the automatic vending machine and what we're going to need. So I'm going to put the gold nuggets up for right now. We're going to need, you're going to need 32 redstone. You're going to need 10 redstone torches. 20 comparators you're gonna i mean uh sorry uh 20 repeaters redstone repeaters four comparators you're gonna need one redstone block you're gonna need 14 hoppers nine droppers one chest nine item frames and you're going to also need uh note blocks and this is kind of just indicates a tone that the system is working per item uh, and it it sounds pretty cool it just makes a quick dong that 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 you're receiving your item and when you switch the item. So you need 10 note blocks, one arrow. And again, you can use a torch or, or a sword or whatever it is, but this is the item that you're selecting. When I, when I showed you guys how to select the item a second ago, I like using the arrows because it's very, very accurate. And then you need a stack of solid blocks of your choice. I'm using quartz again, so you guys can see my redstone trail and see how everything works. So the first thing we're gonna be needing to do is build our payment method how we're going to be receiving our payment. And it's it's a pretty compact system compared to most of them that I've seen, and it allows us for the eight items there. So the first hole we're gonna do, we're gonna be doing uh, three deep, one, two, three. And in that three deep, we're going to be putting our chest at the bottom. Chest, chest, there we go. And then we're going to be putting a hopper. Oops, let's, uh, let's go right here. A hopper on top of that chest. And then another hopper on top of that hopper. So we're going to be digging right next to that. Uh, two deep over here. We're going to be digging uh, two deep over here. Two deep over here. Three over here. Two over here. Three. Three. And then three right there. And I think this one actually needs to be three. Yeah, that well, one needs to be three. Okay, so... What we're going to be putting over here is our comparator is going to be running right in this direction and it's going to be running away from the chest like that. Okay, so then we're going to take our repeater and we're going to put a repeater also going in this direction. And over here we're going to put a redstone dust. And again, if this starts getting uh, complicated or if you guys have questions, just ask in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Uh, this took a, a little while to build, but it was well worth it in the very end. And I'll try to fast forward some of it if it starts to get tedious. But but it's really simple to do. It's just a, a little bit of work and, and it's well worth it, quite honestly. Uh, over here, let me see. I kind of have it written out on a piece of paper because it gets really complicated. So over here, you gotta, you're going to do a redstone torch. It's going to go on this side here. And then we're going to put a block right there. And then we're also going to put a block right there. And we're going to put redstone dust here. And that's going to stay open just like that. Let's see here. Here we have a repeater is going to go in this direction. In that direction there. And then we're going to put another redstone dust right there. This kind of closes off this circuit right here. And over here, we're going to dig two holes out. And this is where our redstone block is going to go. And we're also going to put a redstone dust on top of that block. Uh, so that's the gist of it right now. We're going to go ahead and actually close this up because, hold on a second, let me put some of this away. We're going to actually close this up with some dirt, uh, the dirt that you would have dug up to begin with. Again, most people are going to be building this in survival, not creative, but you can build it in creative. It doesn't really make a difference. And then we're going to build right in front of this section here. Uh, we're going to build one, two, one, two, three, just like that. We can center it onto the, the coin right there, or where the, the payment method is going to be, right there. Then we're gonna go one, two, three up, and we're going to seal it up with that in the, in the, the around it, kind of like eight 
eight items. And I like to do something a little different for the center sometimes. So, I mean, we could use, let's see, because we're done with the dirt for right now. I'm going to use an iron block for the center just because it looks a little bit different. That's where the dial is going to go. And we can go ahead and put our item frames up for right now. Uh, they're going to go one, two, three, four, all, all the way, actually across all of them. And we can actually go ahead and put our arrow in the center item item frame because that's going to be our selector and then we'll put the items inside the item frames that we're going to be selling in just a moment okay so we're going to do our our uh, kind of like a translator i guess to build uh, off the back over here it's what's going to do is going to translate the the arrow shifts to the actual items that are going to be selected so you're going to put one one of your blocks uh, that you're going to be using right here i'm again i'm using the quartz blocks then you're going to be doing two blocks here one block here two blocks here and one block there then you're going to go back to your comparators excuse my mic on yeah <laughs> you're going to go back to your comparators and you're going to put one comparator going in this direction one going in this direction and one going in this direction that kind of creates your signal and this is what's going to kind of translate into what we're going to build next Okay, so now we're going to go to our, uh, again, back to our block to choice. And we're, this is the actual item where it's going to start selecting what it is uh, that you're, you're picking off the front of the vending machine. So you're going to come out eight blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight. And you're going to put redstone across the whole top of this, uh, all eight pieces there. And then you're going to go to your repeaters. And you're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight repeaters. And you're going to notice that they're only lit up to number five over here because that's where this thing is kind of pointed. Watch, if I take it all the way to number eight, um, I think it's the very top one is the very uh, last selection. They're all going to be lit up and that's going to be how it knows what to select. So now you're going to put another set of blocks right here. Let's get rid of this flower and this one. And we're going to put another set of blocks right here. And then you're going to put another set of blocks on top of these repeaters. So you're going to crouch down or hold shift. And then you're going to put a block on top of each one of these. I don't know why it's not going. There it goes. Uh, on top of these repeaters. And then you're going to put another set of repeaters uh, right on the other side over here. Uh, all eight just like that then we need to put redstone across the top connecting all of them together so that's how we get our uh, our signal all the way through so I think that looks pretty straightforward and on to the next step okay then we're gonna go our, then we're gonna grab our uh, again back to our blocks over here and we're going to put our blocks uh, you're gonna need to crouch down again and you're gonna put our blocks facing each one of these repeaters on this side over here and that should do it and then we're going to grab our redstone torches and we're going to put them down at the bottom over here and this kind of cancels the signal out on these um, as we place them uh that's that's where they're that's where they're going to end up so then we're going to come on over here we're going to grab our uh, drop our droppers and we're going to put our droppers facing up all the way across the whole top of this and then we're going to put one, our last dropper is going to be right here. And it needs to be facing sideways. Either side doesn't really make a difference, but it can't be facing out that way. Otherwise, it'll shoot the item uh, shoot the item out, and that's not what we're looking for. Uh, so now we need to take our hoppers. And you're going to crouch down. You're going to do one, two, and you're going to come out one over here pointing. You're, you're crouching this whole entire time, so they're pointing to the, the previous hopper and towards that dropper over there. And then you're going to bring them all the way out um, on top of each one of these uh, droppers and then you're going to fall off at the back over there um, and oops and we're going to crouch down oops crouch down and we're going to place it there so that's uh that's the hoppers that are going to be kind of selecting uh from the uh the the droppers are going to pop up and are going to push the uh the items over to this uh to this dropper okay so now we're going to place going to grab up go back to our block of uh block of choice and on top of these repeaters over here we're going to be oops you don't want to move those you want to leave those in their proper position oops I don't want to mess with the the function of these so I'm going to put these over here get out of here pig you're not going to help you're going to end up getting cooked 
Okay, so we're going to put uh, a block on top of each one of these repeaters, just like this. And then over here, we're going to do the same thing. You're going to stay uh, crouch, and you're going to put a block on top of all this redstone dust as well over here, just like so. And then we're going to grab uh, redstone dust and, sorry, we're going to grab redstone dust and we're going to place it all across this section here. Okay, so now we need to go grab back over here. Uh, where am I? Oh, yeah, over here. <laughs> kind of getting lost already because it is it is kind of big. We're going to place one redstone torch over here. We're going to go back to our block of choice and it's going to go one, two over here and up. Okay, and then we're one, two, and three over here. And we're going to grab our uh, redstone. We're going to put it right there, right there, right there, right there, and right there. And that powers all of this over here. Now, actually, I don't think this one's needed. I think it's just this one right here. Okay, so, and the reason why we put these blocks right over here is so this side over here doesn't touch this side over here. They're just It's just keeping them separated. If you put a half slab there, I think they still connect. It's the full blocks that keep them uh keep them disconnected and then what we're going to do next is uh just kind of like making the tone for uh for the uh the the vending machine and we're going to put right here is going we're going to we have that one blank block there and on top of this right here you're going to crouch you're going to put one uh one note block there and you're going to grab your uh let me jump and fly here grab and we're going to put one block right there and we're going to put another uh another note block there and we're going to put one repeater going towards that note block and we're going to put one repeater going towards that note block and this kind of makes the little chime sound whenever you select the item and then this is once you actually get the item we're going to put the rest of our note blocks the other eight that we have across these right here so these automatically will chime when when the item is actually popped up and it'll make the sound uh, from the uh, from the system Okay, so now we need to configure our uh, our payment method, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, remove this these three pieces of dirt over here. Or you can remove just one if you really want to. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put items into the hopper uh, that that are going to uh, accept the payment method, and we're going to go with again we're gonna go with the gold coins. So we need quite a bit actually of gold coins. So you need to get roughly a stack. You actually need one less than a stack. You need 63 items, and then you need. Uh, four items that don't stack so you can use something cheap like uh, like a wooden sword for instance uh, we need one two three two uh, and I'm trying to stack them as I am as I'm telling you guys uh, unstackable item <laughs> noob anyway so we're going to take uh, we're gonna take our uh, 63 gold nuggets not 64 and we're gonna put put that in one of the slots and then we're gonna put the swords in the other four slots and that will essentially accept our payment method of what we're uh, what we're looking for is the uh, the gold nuggets uh, what I call coins so now we need to configure the actual uh, the vending machine itself and I have over here let's see let's get rid of some of these items over here and I have pre-selected a few items over here uh, just random items that I think are pretty cool f for a vending machine that would be worth it for a gold coin. So, so we're gonna do iron in there. Uh, what do you call it? A, a blaze rod in there. A glowstone in there. How about a, a coal there? A cookie there? A cooked steak there? An entire cake and a slime ball. And so we're going to actually put these items into uh these hoppers over or not these hoppers into these droppers over here so this is again item one uh item two and so on down the line and i'll go ahead and put these in really quick and see if you have the that where i'm pointing always pointing in the wrong direction if you have that system set up where it's connected to this it'll automatically dump those items into those droppers uh, just by pointing the uh the funnels uh into into there so right now um I, i'm feeling a little uh little peckish a little hungry so i think i would like to have a, a cake oops uh, let's see go to go to cake okay so now i can go and grab my gold coin or my gold nugget i can throw it into the uh into the hopper and it'll ding and i should have my cake in a second and there it is there's my cake 
and I get to enjoy my cake for my one gold nugget. Nom, 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 nom. But I'm in creative, so I can't eat it. Darn it. Darn creative. Anyway, so there you go, guys. It's a pretty compact system for what it what it actually does. Um, it, it Like I said, it's, it's as tight as I could get it to go. And I think it's uh, pretty awesome. I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, if you guys... Uh, if you guys like this type of thing, if you guys like this video here, please don't forget to uh, smash that like button as hard as you can down below, dudes, with your uh, with your, your cake. Yeah. <laughs> and if you guys are new to our channel, uh, if you guys can please click the subscribe button down below as well. I'd be greatly appreciated. Until next time, guys. See ya.